Hi Aries, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel. And thank you very much for your likes and shares and also um, welcome to the new viewers that have just landed on the channel. I'm using a new deck and that is uh, called the Enchanted Love Tarot and it is by Amy Zinner and Montfather and I love the way they've got humour. They've been married for yonks and yonks. The Lover's Guide to Dating, Mating and Relating. Okay, so that is quite a sense of humour. And I love the cards, they're beautiful. If you want to see all the cards and the art on them, then have a look at the review um, uh, video. And then you can get familiar with the cards. Okay. Now, this is the last romance reading of this year, 2020, and uh, uh, so far they've been really igniting, beautiful, positive, and you start off positively as well. You've got the world, you've got the world in your hands, Aries. You might be traveling this month, this could be honeymoon, this could be just a holiday, and also you could be moving home. Look at that card, isn't that beautiful? Now, perhaps if I hold it up a little bit clearer, then you can see this is a lady that has nothing to hide. She's all nude and she's holding on to the world. The world is her oyster. This is also in this deck called Consummation. So you might be consummating your relationship, your marriage this month and you might find out there could be a pregnancy. Okay, because the world also means something is coming full circle. So an ending, a new beginning, going up to the next level in a relationship, from going out to getting engaged, from engaged going to uh, get married, from getting married to actually starting a family. For those that are getting married, congratulations. And as we've got the wedding card right underneath it, I just saw it. Okay, I usually uh, don't pay attention to the cards until I get to the cards. All right. Now the world means that you might um, be meeting an Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio or an Leo. Usually those are the four that represent the world. Um, if you are already hooked up, like I said, you might take it up to the next level. Now, if somebody's done you bad or do, done you good, and they will get it back threefold, the same for you. What you have put out there, you'll get it back threefold. So it's a definitely a positive card. Okay, you will get your rewards if you've put in the work. Also, the world is not only the My Karma card or the travel card or moving home, but also what goes around comes around, what goes up must come down. So if you're in a bit in the down in the dumps because you're not hooked up or you are hooked up with somebody and it's not that exciting, then I think you might start doing something new within the relationship, like taking a break or doing something exciting. You are creative because you've got number 21. So there will be a new creation. Remember, the time is man-made. So um, I will say one week, the second week, the third week, but it could be throughout the whole month. Secondly, you have the Eight of Shells. So the Eight of Shells is the Eight of Cups. There's many different cups um, to choose from, but you want excitement, you want adventure. Don't throw away an old pair of shoes. In other words, don't break this relationship until you know what you are seeking and what you want. But usually in a general reading I say don't throw an old pair of shoes away before you get a new pair of shoes. 
well that obviously doesn't happen or is not really of essence it's not very helpful if you are in a relationship and you're looking for another relationship that's not how it works you must look for uh, a solution if something is not going very well or according to your wishes or plans remember you make plans together so if you would like the excitement or passion back in your relationship then talk about it converse about it the world is your oyster you can do so much don't just give up you might have to sacrifice something for something else like if you want to get pregnant um, then you might have to eat healthier so don't you might have to sacrifice sweets or you might have to take more rest so that you cannot go out as much as you've done that is a good beginning anyway because once you've got a child you will not be able to go out when at the drop of a hat when you want to so there is also a always a sacrifice for something Aries okay now we've also got the princess of gems the princess of gems is the princess of pentacles and this is what she looks like the enduing and I don't know that sounds more like French it sounds like the lovely one or the ingenious one and the princess is the page so you might be meeting a Capricorn but don't exclude Virgo or Taurus um, they will be that could be it's a young person it could be a person that you might be meeting or that you're hooked up with that is younger than you um, um, but you will be getting news that is tangible durable and for long term this could be a news like let's get together do you want would you like to go out um, and this person is trying to find a, a way to get your attention and to ask you out and to start creating a long-term relationship this relationship could be like I said with a Capricorn but it can also be with a Taurus or a Virgo steady but uh, definitely secure because they are with both feet on the ground because they are the ground or earth element is the king of wands he's a man that knows what he wants he comes in action for it he has passion he's logical he's creative so he can be a real real charmer and he is the motivator in this deck he will motivate you to jump into action once you've got that news so the king of wands is the or the king of roses is you Aries you will be in your element at the end of December definitely I think you will be burning the candle at both ends at Christmas and New Year because his passion and his passion is usually party P for party P for passion <laughs> and I think a lot of Aries are passionate and party people but they're also well read people that is what I feel and that's what I know I think they're very intelligent well read people they know where they want to go definitely and when they don't they stay quiet and they do the research they will ask for help if need be so don't shy away if you're not quite sure what to do especially with this um, wanting adventure and excitement uh, excitement because I know you are passionate about travel as well you cannot sit still all right so slow down especially if you are with a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo okay and we've got Taurus here as well and Leo so you could be meeting um, a same sign a uh, fire sign as well you could meet the Aquarian he will be the or they will be the 
one that can talk and they have a quick way of thinking so I think you've got beautiful choices here beautiful people that will compliment you um, in the utmost definitely you you are very selective and be like that but remember that passion doesn't last so sometimes you have to slow down or get to somebody else's level to understand them and to know their boundaries and let them know your boundaries so this passion can grow into a fully fledged beautiful relationship now the angel card that you have is a red angel feather again very passionate but the red is also the grounding chakra okay take action now the angels advise you that a project or an idea that you have been working on is finally nearing the point of transformation so if you've been having an eye on somebody take action be the one before they give you send you news let them give them an uh, an invitation or send them some news let them know how you feel laugh it out laugh it out is the next card and look at that sunshine and those sunflowers it's so positive stop hiding underneath an, an umbrella come out of your little shell laughter untangles the knot of difficulties before despair can settle in so I said communicate the world is your oyster you can do it if you want you can get what you want just be a mysterious in a beautiful way, sensual way, sexy way. Even serious situations are under divine management. To laugh is to feel good again. By accepting the mysterious way of things, ease up in order to gain a fresh perspective. No matter how it looks, know this, everything is as it should be. The divine has assigned a spiritual guardian to watch over you and wedding so there could be a wedding for a lot of you there could be a proposal like I said okay it's come out in nearly every reading up to now so there will be new beginnings or new partnerships for a lot of us this situation involves marriage so you could get an invite um, will you come with me as my partner to a wedding or a celebration I take the wedding card as a celebration it might be yours it might be somebody else's you've also got the seven of roses and the roses is the ones as you know because you've got the king of ones here and it says courage you must have courage the seven of ones also means that you might feel that you have to protect yourself and like I always say you don't need to uh, de well you can protect yourself but I meant to defend you need to you feel that you have to defend whatever you do or who you are you don't need to your partner your friends should accept you the way you are and if somebody's voicing their opinion on your partner or anything then um, you don't have to defend yourself you would just just say what do you mean you know did I ask you for an opinion no well shut up walk away from other people's drama okay okay well I hope you've enjoyed this reading and I hope um, it helps you in some way at least you know what the energy is in December for you there is news coming your way news that can uh, change your life from passion to a fully fledged um, uh, relationship because uh, gems are the pentacles and that means tangibility durability for long term so there is somebody that wants to stay with you long term so sometimes it's you know remember I'm getting a, a saying now cry and you cry alone laugh and you l and the world laughs with you and you've got the world oh this is getting a life of its own again so take action now that is what the angels are saying 
stay cool and stay charming you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar so be sensual in your speech and in the way you behave love you loads thank you so much for your likes shares and i love you really i love all my cyber angels every single person is special in their own right just remember that so are you take care hope you have a wonderful christmas and a happy new year and may 2021 be the best year yet love you ciao ciao